Welcome my friend, Seven Gray here. Today I'm in San Diego and it's a Saturday. There is a meetup of van dwellers, I guess over 120 of them, out right on the shore in, I guess, Fiesta Park. I've never been there before. I'm gonna try to do a little bit of cleaning, organizing this morning. Hopefully I'll get to meet a few subscribers out there. And if not, maybe I'll pick up a few new subscribers. I've arrived at the Fiesta Park, but I don't see the group. This event was organized on meetup.com. And there's a map, and I'm pretty much exactly where the pinpoint is on the map. And there's a bunch of vehicles out here, but I don't see anything that's obviously a group of van dwellers. I'm also curious, I am now using this wind uh, blocker thing around the microphone and this is a brand new microphone brand, brand new setup and we have a pretty good breeze out here so let me know if you can hear any wind noise um, I'm hoping that there is absolutely none because on my old camera you'd probably be hearing this right now definitely no vans here I'm gonna wander across the street see what's going on over there looks like this is a rocket launch over here I've seen some small rockets going up from 2000 to 2009, I was heavily involved in rocketry and published a magazine called Extreme Rocketry. So this was sort of uh, my group of people for many, many years. And I went to many of these events, probably two, three times a month. I would be going out to rocket launches and covering them for the magazine, interviewing people, stuff like that. Um, this appears to be a national association of rocketry called NAR, N-A-R. And I think that's probably what's going on over here because they're smaller rockets. Uh, they fly off of black powder, whereas the big ones fly off of ammonium perchlorate and nitrous oxide hybrid propellants. I don't see any of the people, so I'm going to go back into the step van and see if I can get online and try to find out some more information on where they're meeting. I'm pretty sure that I went to exactly the pinpoint on the map on meetup.com, but Nobody's here that I can uh, easily recognize as a van group. So able to get online, I'm going to go out and drive around. There's a couple of loops here. I'm just going to keep driving around the loops till I see bunches of vans. Hopefully I can find these guys. I believe I have found the group. I went around the second loop and right at the very end is a group of vans. I'm pretty sure this is it. Yeah, this looks like the place. Big drone up there, bunch of sprinter vans. That looks like the crowd. I'm going to wander around. Indeed, this is the place I wandered around. I was able to meet up and see some old friend. I saw Paul with his step van. I saw Gabriel with his step van. No other step vans here, so just the three of us right now. And a bunch of Sprinter vans, Promasters, uh, traditional smaller vans, Chevy vans, all sorts of vans. There's probably, I don't know, 100 vehicles here, something like that. They're going to start a potluck lunch here shortly, so I brought a salad. I'm going to get a bowl out and uh, throw the salad mix in there and some dressing and, and take it out to the gathering uh, to the group and offer that. And then hopefully this afternoon I'm going to serve some tea to uh, people that are in the area. All right, time for the potluck. I just made some salad, quick and easy, nutritious, hopefully more or less. Going to head over, set up, get some food. Recently I bought a marker board and I've been writing on this with erasable markers. I made a sign that says Seven Wanders the World Book Exchange and Tea House. Welcome! And I put some uh, like uh, Velcro kind of stuff on the outside of the step van so that I can mount the sign and then people will just uh, were wandering in. So this has turned out to be a good short-term solution until I can come up with a better sign. I decided to serve some tea and I have some guests here visiting the step van or as Giuseppe likes to call it, the steep van. That's sort of a little wordplay there. And uh, please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Stephanie. And I'm Mike from Van Life Thanks Sheldon's so. Travels. So they've got a little um, channel that is growing very rapidly. I recommend you check that out. I'll put a link below. And then over here on this side. Um, I'm Boulder. Boulder? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to sit down and enjoy some tea with my guests.
There's a guy that's jamming out a DJ right next to my van, super, super loud. I don't know if I'm gonna get like um, flagged for having the music in the background, hopefully not. Been having a great uh, turnout here, coming into the step van, having some tea and hanging out, giving away a couple of travel books, so that's been really wonderful. Especially meeting some of the subscribers and meeting some newbies that uh, are gonna subscribe to my channel. I'm editing this video right now, um, and I'm going back and looking through the footage. After I was serving the tea, my original intent was to wait for about the time of sunset when the golden lighting was just perfect and I was going to go around and capture some of the vans and some nice video, do some slow-mo, put a music track behind it. That was the plan. What actually happened was my battery died just at this point on my M6 camera and I don't have the G7X. I forgot about the GoPro. I didn't even think about using my phone and the camera on that, uh, so I just spaced it. I thought that my camera was dead and that I wasn't able to get any video. Some of the people that were having tea with me offered to charge the battery on the camera, so I sent them off with the battery and was waiting for the battery to charge. I went out um, to recollect the battery and uh, that's when everybody was leaving and I filmed this next part, so back to the video. The van party is pretty much over. I've started up my step van, letting it get warmed up, packing up things. That's all I have for this episode. Thank you for watching. Savor the moment. See you next episode.